Okay. What do you got? Hey, Coach, uh, how was it today for some seniors? You know, kind of bittersweet knowing that you know this is the last time you see some of these guys out in the practice field, and they sacrificed so much over the last few years, but. This is their bowl game still. Yeah, they have been through so much. I can't imagine a group of seniors has been through, um, there's not many of them, but has been through um, so many ups and downs. You know, the story that we've told so many times of coming here at the program's highest, coming off of seven straight BCS games, and then maybe the program's lowest with the sanctions and probation, and then you know, a great season two years ago. Um, so they've been through a lot. And um, yeah, it's a little bit sad as their last practice here, but like you said, um, we still have more practices, fortunately. So that's why. You know, we're appreciative to be in the game. Regardless of the wins and losses, you see a lot of character in these young men, regardless of this year's wins and losses, too. I, I do. I, I think these guys have really represented the university really well in their time here. Um, obviously, everybody knows Matt Barkley, um, but the rest of them, they have. You know, you, you, you got to look a long ways to find anything they've done wrong in the whole time they've been here. So, uh, you know, they're, they're going to go off into the real world and represent us really well. Coach, speaking of Matt, what is his, his uh, status uh, at the moment? And what are your expectations of him um, as you get closer to game, game time? Yeah, we're going to look at it when we get down there and see if he can practice. Um, obviously, hopefully he can practice. Um, but, we, but we've said all along he wasn't going to practice until then. Early on in the week, you were splitting time with uh, Max Wittick and Cody Kessler. So are you still doing that, or is it turned into Max taking more reps with the ones? Max has taken more now as we got closer to the game. Um, we treated the first couple of days uh, just like we treat, treat the spring you know, and getting the uh, equal shot. How valuable is this time for Max? Uh, looking ahead to next season, I mean, he's getting a lot of reps here that uh, I would assume is going to help him greatly. Yeah, it's going to help both of them. Um, you know, the one the one positive about Matthew not being here is those guys get more reps, and so it's, it's been really good for them and been really great to be in a bowl to have these extra practices. You get to take uh, like all the walk-ons, the uh, whole squad basically get to go for this this game. Yeah, the bowl games are, are really good, and, and especially being in a later bowl game, uh, because when we're not in school, the rules change a little bit for walk-ons. Uh, we're allowed to feed them now, uh, so they meet with the team, uh, which is something that is just ridiculous that they can't. Uh, and they do get to get all the bowl gifts, and they get to go, and so it's, it's really good for those guys. Coach, you face a team that averages over 300 yards on the ground for a game. What is it about that spread option that makes it so difficult to defend a team like that? Well, I think anytime you're really good at the option, um, you know you know the answers to what happens in the game because it's all you do. And so much like Nebraska back in the day, um, people kind of slow them up and then they know what to go to because they know it inside and out. And so that, that's why they're so good at it um, because they know it so well that as soon as you make adjustments, they know what adjustments to go to. Do they do anything differently? Do they throw any wrinkles in there that you have to prepare especially for? Well, they, they do. You know, they, they do still throw the ball once in a while. And so, you know, once you stop the run and you're up there, you know, you got to be careful with your corners um, out there playing the receivers and, and big receivers. Do, do you find yourself preparing uh, as much for that as you do just your your day-to-day -day routine, getting getting yourself ready, making sure that you, you know, you're uh, crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's? Well, we find ourselves more than ever having to, to really coach our scout team and, um, because it's so unusual what they do and obviously it doesn't simulate anything we do. So that's why the, the time off or the extra time has been really valuable for us. Okay. Right. That's it for me.